right, everybody. How you guys doing? It is February 12th, I believe. It is Monday, February 12th. All right, cool, 2024. And we're just cruising around Big Bear right now because I want you guys to see how much snow remains after four and a half days of, uh, of no snow. So we are gonna go up to the snowiest part of Big Bear, which is Upper Moon Ridge, and then we're gonna take a quick drive around the lake just to get a little bit of a perspective on a lot of parts of the town. And we'll, we'll be good after that. But I'm really interested to see because a lot of snow has disappeared. For instance, if you watch the aftermath video and then watch this one, you'll see a, 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 a big discrepancy. But it's important for me to show you guys because I know a lot of you want to come up and have fun, bring the kids, play in the snow. There's still plenty of snow over here for you guys to have a wonderful time. There's no doubt about that. Let's see if I'm in there. Alright. Hey, babe. Hey, guys. So, yeah, we're just cruising right now. And we're heading up to Upper Moon Ridge, as I said. Look at how beautiful this sun is. It is. I'm telling you, my favorite thing about the snow is when the sun comes out and it's just glistening on the snow and the snow looks all glittery. Can't look directly into it because it's blinding. It's just so beautiful. It feels really fresh. So we're on Silver Tip heading up to, as I said, Upper Moon Ridge. And we're gonna do the just quick little quick view of what Upper Moon Ridge is looking like, and then we're gonna head back down to drive around the lake. And we're gonna take the direction that is the same direction most of you will be coming into town. So by the time we get to the Big Bear Dam, we will be headed into Big Bear Lake the same way all of you would, just so you can see what road conditions are like right now and all that good stuff. up here snow was melting quickly today at my place it's, it's about 45 to this point already all that heavy wet snow that fell on the top of the canopies of the trees is definitely uh, falling down and wreaking havoc on people walking underneath it or the car all right we are on Villa Grove Remember, we are in the snowiest place in all of all of Big Bear, snowiest neighborhood, which is Upper Moon Ridge. So you can see still a decent amount of snow up here, and then we're gonna. Are we gonna go this way? Yeah, we'll go this way. I was going to turn right there on Luna to head down Sheephorn, but we're going to keep going. Roads are in pretty good shape. Remember though, during the daytime when all of this melts, well, when a lot of the snow melts, what well, doesn't evaporate by evening time, by when we get our frozen temperatures, will turn into ice. So you could come up here after a storm like this 10 days later, and think how how is it possible the road could be icy at all but it's it's very possible and that's why because of the melting snow refreezing hey that's my buddy right there Beautiful 
walls of snow though as tall as, as uh, these these folks are there by the way we're on wolf right now w-o-l-f right now the conditions are just re ridiculously good and tomorrow will be the time lapse that some people have been waiting for for, uh, for this last storm it's just we had other videos that had to had to go up like this one also and I and all the driving up and down the mountain. So I just want to make sure that the time lapse gets its its fair shake. Anytime I post a video just back to back, the first one of those two does not get many views at all. And I, I want to make sure because the time lapse are some of my favorite. So I, I really hope some people watch it. Yeah, there's quite a bit of snow up here still, guys. But wait till you see the drive around the lake. Some some parts are going to be very surprising how much snow has already melted. Like the fawn skin side of Highway 38 that, that runs right alongside our lake, you guys. Pretty, pretty amazing, actually, how much snow melted already. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at that. That's a lot of snow. That is a lot of snow. So this is going to be a little bit on the slicker side. This part of this road doesn't see a lot of direct sunlight. So we just got to be extremely careful. Wow, look at the view of the lake out there. Wow. You see that, man? Gorgeous. Isn't that incredible? We're going to let this guy pass. This street has become one lane. Yes, it has. Oh, look, they're going to let you pass. Uh, I'm going to let them pass. That's called the big bear If they courtesy. can, if they can. You go, no you go. <laughs> That's the big bear courtesy. I learned it while I was living here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't see that down the mountain much. Not at all. It's like, no, I go, no, I go. <laughs> like, I go, and now I go again. <laughs> Bicycles, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Pretty icicles on the house. Wow. I knocked all of ours off of our back door only because I was afraid one was going to poke my eye out. All right. That's <laughs> a good reason to do it. They were so long, they were like forehead level. I misread that license plate. I was like, how did they let someone have a license plate like that? Yeah, I kind of feel sorry seeing a lot of these people hand shoveling right now because uh, you want to shovel when, the, when it's happening, not days afterwards. Because then you're shoveling cement. Up here where we're at, it's 41 degrees. And we're not too far from leaving Upper Moon Ridge. And then heading around the lake. As I said, we're gonna take the uh, lake route where once we get to the dam, it'll be 
just like you guys coming into town from that point on. So you can see what's what's happening. In one way, if you get lost up here, guys, there's there's all those signs that you just saw that say emergency evacuation route. So if you get lost here in Upper Moon Ridge, just follow the emergency evacuation routes and they will take you down. It's pretty simple stuff. All right, and then this is one of the spots you guys here in Moon Ridge that I've showed you guys about free sledding. It's these big, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what they're called, but there's slopes on either side. Some are steeper, some are less steep. And it runs all the way through Moon Ridge. You don't have to worry about your kids getting too much speed and then sliding right into the roads because as soon as they hit the bottom, they start going up the other side. It's very safe. Just make sure you park properly because I know some, some people don't like me telling you about these spots but again I'm a proponent for your guys's fun and happiness up here and as long as you're following all the rules like all the parking rules I'll, I'll keep on showing you guys all these spots So as you can see, some of these side roads, not our, our main roads, are still a little bit rough, but I mean, nothing we can't handle, which is why even if they aren't requiring tire chains coming up, up and down the mountain, please have them with you because chances of you guys staying in an area like this are high. So you wanna make sure that when you get to town, you don't get stuck. That would be horrible. And waste a AAA call, you don't wanna do that. buried back here and this is the middle moon ridge area and there's bear mountain straight ahead what you can see through the trees to the golf course opening up play a little bit of golf I didn't get to play much golf last season but yeah so we're gonna just drive by bear real quick since we're right here hopefully we can see over these berms to make sure no cars are coming okay we're good See a holiday today, babe. That's next Monday, I think. Yeah, I know. I saw that. But um, that's President's Day next week. I think they're not putting it on the calendar, but it's either Lincoln or Washington's birthday today. Because um, the kids, my grandkids, didn't have school. Let's see. Wow, weird. I'm gonna type in what President's birthday. That's pretty sad today. that they're <coughs> not posting their birthdays like that. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, guys, we're coming up to B -B -B Bear Mountain. It looks beautiful. Look at everyone just having so much fun on that beautiful snow. My gosh. Hey, that is so amazing up there. Look at that. Yes. 
Okay. But okay. for some reason, it's not on my Google Calendar or Nick's. So. Yeah. But the grandkids did. Um, it's not on my iPhone thing. The grandkids did have a three-day weekend. I'm not sure about the kids in Big Bear. Um, <coughs> comment if your kids do go to Big Bear High, let us know. Or middle school or any elementary school here. Um, if they got the day off for Lincoln's birthday. <coughs> I know we used, in elementary school, we used to like color a picture of him and make a hat and stuff like that. So I don't know if they're still doing that. I know a lot has changed. So that could be why it's not on Google Calendar, but President's Day is. Yep. So we're on Club View now. Heading away from the ski resort and now heading back to the main drag to take you guys on a cruise around the beautiful lake. Can't wait to see what fun skin looks like. I hope you enjoy. We might stop and do a tributary video since we'll already be over there. Because it, it, it might be flowing right now. So we can have a video for manana. The gas is killing me. I told you the direction we're gonna take over by the uh, lake. I like taking the other route because the other route makes it easier. Because you're pretty much avoiding traffic, you're going against the grain. case we're probably not going against the grain. Especially if it if it is a holiday, we'll, we could have some some issues. Hang on a second. Hey text me bro I'm making a video. So this is Moon Ridge. Most of you already know this. This is one of our biggest uh, roads in town. You guys are going to be very impressed with how clean these roads are. Maybe not with the pothole situation, but potholes are not improving at all. 
but the ice and snow on these roads should make you feel very comfortable or the lack thereof Two main shopping centers right here. There's the Stater Brothers over there and a Vons right there. You've got laundromats, restaurants, banks, <laughs> um, Boost Mobile, stuff like that. Sometimes they like make it right, but it's just, I get like icy chunks and it's just not like an even mixture of flavors. I wish we had a consistent Jamba juice up here. You like Jamba, right? Heck yeah. All right, so we're at Stanfield Cutoff, guys. We're gonna make a left here and start heading around the lake. They have some pretty good smoothie places up here though, like the one next door to OJ's. I don't know what it's called, but that place is great. And they have a great avocado toast too. Yeah, I I just haven't gotten my drink the way that it, it, it usually tastes the last many times that I've been there. That's why I'm, I was hoping for like a, a, a big company. Yeah. Even though I'm, you know, I, I prefer to support mom and pop's places, always. But if it's not being done right, that's why these other places... As far as I'm concerned, it, it's just the last few times, it, it's too, too many ice chunks just tasted bland. But again, see you guys, it's super, super subjective. My wife and I were talking about the same place and she absolutely, absolutely loves it. I usually do love it. Movies? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised to hear that. Smoothies are always so flavorful to me. All right, guys, we're on Highway 38 now. Or we're turning left onto Highway 38. It's just, wow. Not a cloud in the sky, you guys. It's just a perfect, perfect, beautiful day. And again, keep your eyes on the roads, showing you some of our, our main roads all around town. And some of the best views of the ski resorts like this one. It really is gorgeous. Those are the things that I get 
concerned about because at, at nighttime, with how cold we've been getting, that's gonna freeze and, and that's gonna definitely be ice at night. in the campgrounds over here. There's a road that you take left here and it drives you parallel to Big Bear Boulevard but so you have access to the campgrounds. You would turn left here. That's where the observatory is as well. Now we're entering beautiful Fox again. Beautiful homes right here, right on the water. Just perfect. Such a beautiful view. San Gorgonio back behind our ski resorts right up there. Wow. I wonder how much snow they got on top of San Gorgonio out of this last system. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like eight or nine feet. That is just a perfect view on a perfect day.
back for about 45 minutes, bro. But just swing by at that point. I'll hit you up when I'm almost home. So the roads are not looking bad at all, guys, right? At least our main roads. And then you know what? Instead of stopping at the tributary today, I think I'll just come back tomorrow, okay? If you want to cruise, that'd be awesome. I just don't have much time to do that today. turn with these other cars coming. Right. I get it. Smart truck driver. These turns must be a pain. turn for this guy or actually two more rough turns i'm interested to see how he pulls off the last turn pulling into the village or pulling into downtown fonskin he seems like he's got it under control downtown Fonskin, you guys. It's a really adorable little town. Very quiet over here. They do have Airbnbs over here as well. If you wanted to be kind of far away from everything but still have a lot of snow, this would be your place to go. And the tributary is just coming right up here. tributary right here. And it's definitely flowing, but it doesn't sound like much of a flow at all. But tomorrow is going to be warmer, so it might be a really good day to catch the waterfall doing a little bit of what it does. I don't know if you guys can see straight ahead that peak right there that's san gorgonio look at how white that is up there that is just so beautiful one of my favorite views in this whole town which is this right here 
driving this direction and seeing all of this. I'll be at my house at 115. Driving right alongside the lake again. You guys remember when we first recorded the deep snow over here these snow berms you could hardly get a view of our lake that's how much they've already melted it's beautiful not the snow melt just the view of the lake Risking coming into traffic, but again, this is for you guys. I want you guys to see exactly what it looks like when you guys come up, and this will be a good receipt of that. Beautiful houses right here get these incredible views. This is one of the first seasons all the way this deep that I haven't seen much ice on the lake. I think it's honestly the first season where I've seen hardly anything on the lake. There's hardly any ice at all. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of an ice layer at the very top, but it doesn't go out far at all, and it's not much. 
But I guess technically that is a little icy right now. This is where you guys come into town, most of you. This is where Highway 18 meets Highway 38 and the Big Bear Dam is right here. That's the dam area. That's the bridge, but the dam's right below it. You can kind of catch the top of the, of the dam over there. It's a pretty tall dam, you guys. A lot bigger than I ever thought. coming into town if you're coming in today don't forget if you have any questions about any of this please don't hesitate I want to do the best I can to give you the best experience and I'm still learning an awful lot too you guys it's a never-ending game about of learning up here the potholes make sure you guys are really focusing on that as well So far, not too bad, right guys? Once you've made it up here. You should be pretty good. And of course, this is another one of those major areas, guys, where during the day, the snow's gonna melt and go into the road just like this, and chances of all of it evaporating are very slim to none. So you're gonna end up with this being frozen once we get down to our freezing temperatures. I can't stress enough how dangerous this can be. If you've ever been ice skating, that's, and you fall, just all that sliding and not being able to stop, that's what happens. Black ice is treacherous.
Hey there, big truck. Some good potholes over here. Again, guys, these potholes can ruin your day as well, so be extra vigilant keeping your eye out for these things. Those of you still watching to this point, don't forget to help me out by hitting like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. It does help a bunch. It helps with YouTube's algorithm. The more likes we get, the more they will push the video. And then also for your ski and snowboard rentals, you guys. Oh, there's some frozen stuff. Definitely not gonna hold your weight though, you guys. So please do not attempt to go out there. That's Boulder Bay. But yeah, for your ski and snowboard rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have two shops within two blocks of the village. One of them is a ski shop, the other is a snowboard shop. And if you mention I sent you and you bring in your own skis and snowboard, they will wax it for free. But they're very trustworthy. I've heard nothing but good things about them. That's why I wanted to incorporate them with this channel because I want the best for you guys, nothing less. Only the best. So once again, it's Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. It's one block and two blocks away from the village. And if you want to save some money on lift tickets, go to getboards.com. If you order it 72 hours in advance, it'll save you a lot of money as um, instead of going to the ticket window the day you plan on skiing. If you order it 72 hours in advance, you'll save a a good amount of money at getboards.com. So far, I've, ha I've heard nothing but <clears throat> really amazing reviews from you guys. A lot of you have already gone in there, and uh, I told you guys, I'm not going to give you guys second best. I'll take care of you the best that I can. So babe, pretty easy drive once we once, like once they get into town, huh? <laughs> just just Yeah, no, hundred percent. Hardly anyone out here. <clears throat> of course a lot of you are trying to make it up here probably by eight o'clock or so, so you can hit the slopes right when they open. Keep in mind everything's gonna still be frozen at that time, you guys, so you need to be extra cautious. Here's a place where you can pay to go sledding and pay to go on that roller coaster you see right there, that guy in the little green car coming fast around that corner, boom. I think we need to do a, a, a snowy ride, babe. Yeah, that would be nice. Totally. Maybe, maybe tomorrow and we'll push the tributary video. So for adults, it's 20 bucks a person to ride on that ride, you guys. 
remember what it is for youngsters. But they have a really cool staff over there. And yeah, it's a lot of fun over there. We're gonna go into the village instead of staying on Big Bear Boulevard. We're gonna hop on to Village Drive right here. And for two of our big hotels, I've I have both of these on video in the playlist of this channel called Lodging. I've got the biggest room that this place has to offer. That is called the Lodge at Big Bear Lake, and then here is the club at Big Bear Village. My favorite spot, a blue green resort. And we have the three bedroom and the presidential suite on the video. So if you guys want to check it out and see what it looks like before you book it, please check out one of the video or one of the playlists in the playlist section called lodging. Beautiful village, bunch of people in here having a good time. It's just such a Christmassy type of a North Pole winter wonderland spot. Continue through the village. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got this. All right, my favorite restaurant right there, the Himalayan. I'm telling you guys, some darn good Indian food right there. And uh, my favorite there is chicken tikka masala. My wife gets something different every time and she she basically loves everything, right babe? Yeah. And my wife can be kind, kind of picky, so that's saying a lot for the Himalayan because uh, everything she's had there, she's like, oh my gosh, this is the best, oh my gosh. And this is my favorite steakhouse up here called Peppercorn Grill. I'm looking forward to uh, eating there again. A little bit expensive, but you know, they are top of the line steaks. So what do you expect? For fine dining up here, as far as I'm concerned, that's, that's about it. Remember, all my opinions on these restaurants are very subjective. Something that I'm not a huge fan of, you might think is, is the best food you've ever had. So don't not eat at these places just because I don't like it. That's not fair, but I will always give you my honest opinion. Well, now we're back on Big Bear Boulevard. And be careful, there's a, a lot of people in a rush for some reason. Here's the other get board shop right here. The first one is one block before us, or where we just came from. And in the summertime, they have another shop over in Boulder Bay where they rent kayaks and stuff like that. So they have a little bit of everything, you guys, but really good equipment and really great customer service. All right, Big Bear Boulevard is pretty clear, guys. You can see they've done an incredible job removing a lot of the snow. Guys, 
they'll bring like 50 dump trucks like back to back to back to back and fill them up and send them away. I've, I've really wanted to see where they actually dump it all and watch that process. I think that'd be a pretty awesome video. that's gonna be it I hope you enjoyed it again this is just to show you guys how much snow we had in the main parts of the town where most of you end up coming so thank you guys for checking it out I appreciate it baby it's, it's time to say it. thanks for joining us guys thank you thank you thank you and yeah we will see you guys soon again don't forget tomorrow we have the time lapse of our biggest snowstorm of the season it's about seven or eight days worth of a time lapse. It's only about three minutes long. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll talk to you later. Peace out.